can't find my way back to you Till you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone Until you find your way back home Gallardo was my childhood dream car. It's been my phone background since the iPhone 3G. It's been on my bedroom wall as a poster for many, many years, and it's always held a special place in my heart. And in fact, since Vehicle Virgins was created in 2011, I have been wanting to do this review so badly. I spent countless hours imagining what it would be like to drive, what it would sound like, and the exotic persona of this car. So I'm extremely excited because this is actually the first review of my very own car since the first video review I ever made, which was of my BMW M5. So this is really exciting. Finally, I own my dream car. So let me tell you a bit about Candace. The beginning of German ownership gave birth to the Lamborghini Gallardo, an exotic that took on and dominated the Ferrari 360. It was just as exciting, capable, and dynamic as the bigger Murcielago, but brought some amount of practicality and could be driven on a daily basis, then subsequently rip off your face and deafen all bystanders as its 5 liter V10 revved to its 8100 RPM red line. <laughs> sits at 500 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. <laughs> and it is really fast. You got two transmission options, the six-speed manual and the e-gear transmission, which is equipped to this car. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. But extensive usage of aluminum actually gives this car the same power to weight ratio as its big brother, the Murcielago, which we reviewed, and that is no slouch. Zero to 60 miles an hour in this car happens in a face ripping 3.9 seconds. So let's see what that feels like. Turn the traction control off, put it in first. with which this car operates. It is insanely loud and you feel as if the engine is just practically bolted to your spine. It is a very brutal analog experience and the power delivery is unlike any other normal fast car. Just as you think it's about to run out of steam and you need to shift up, it just starts to pull even harder. The transmission in this car is absolutely savage. It has a single clutch, so when you flick upshifts, it pops like a freaking dry ice bomb exploding behind you. And that's what makes it fun. It's brutal. It thrashes you around. It's intense. Yeah. And I like that so much more than the quicker, more advanced double clutch system. Sure, around town, a double clutch is far superior. And sure, around a racetrack, it's better as well. But for just... Having fun, you can't beat how intense and exciting that is. This car nearly gives you whiplash, but yeah. you change gear. But I like it. It's, 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 awesome. it's good whiplash. Show the Lamborghini a corner and it complies with prestigious grip. The all-wheel drive system imparts a great deal of confidence. Power has a default 30 to 70 front rear split, but more can be sent to the back. Honestly, the car has so much grip that since I bought it, I haven't even lost traction around a corner. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> Oh, 
The seating position in the Gallardo is absolutely fantastic. You sit low in the car and have an excellent view out over the hood. The steering wheel is positioned just right and the pedals are the perfect amount of firm. The steering, you notice instantly, is very, very heavy. But you become accustomed to it and it's really great and offers a lot of confidence and predictability. Lamborghini is not known for its insane, beautiful handling like its prancing horse rival, but I'm telling you, this car handles absolutely sublime. Entering and exiting a Lamborghini is not an easy task. It takes quite a bit of flexibility and a lot of practice, but you want to get it right because so you want to look graceful and dignified when you pull up in your bright yellow supercar. You do not want to just crawl out onto the curb. Although, once you get the hang of it, the doors do open fairly wide and there is a decent amount of space in the cockpit. The turning radius on this car is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Which means that when you're driving it on a daily basis, it is a bit tricky and you have to be selective about where you take it and where you choose to park it. It also doesn't come on the 2004s with a front lift kit. That means that it can scrape on a lot of things and there's certain driveways you just can't take the car. Simple as that. It also rides hard. It rides really, really hard. But it's a freaking Lamborghini, so none of that matters whatsoever. The interior of the Gallardo is thankfully well put together. Traditionally, supercars have utterly unusable electronics and a horrendous ergonomics. With Audi ownership, Lamborghini had access to both German expertise and more importantly, the Audi parts bin. This car even has heated seats. The coolest part of the interior is this row of fighter jet toggle switches that control everything from the headlights to the windows. Every bit of the interior of the Gallardo is covered in either leather or Alcantara, and it's finished with beautiful yellow contrasted stitching, which matches the exterior very, very well. One thing that's great about this car as compared to a lot of supercars is the rear visibility is actually pretty decent. You can see out the back and that does make me feel a lot better because driving this car often is quite nerve wracking. And since the turning radius is so bad, at least it has one redeeming quality in terms of driving it at slow speeds. Yeah. Few cars can match the tension that driving a yellow Lamborghini will attract. A combination of exotic looks and a thundering V10 will turn about every single head as you pass by. You get a lot of thumbs up and the occasional obscene gesture, but it's really nice that the vast majority of attention that we get in this car has been positive. A lot of people are smiling or laughing when you drive by. Absolutely, it, it's actually insane and you know you're gonna ex expect a bunch of attention driving a Lamborghini, but there's nothing that comes close to actually experiencing it in real life. I've gotten people hailing a cab, like, hey, hey, hey pick me up and whatnot. And, <laughs> people screaming, look at that spaceship, people not speaking English words, just nonsense yeah. babbling. Yeah. And it actually adds to the experience and makes it more fun driving this car. The 5 liter V10 in the Lamborghini produces some of the most beautiful noises I've ever heard. It's like an extremely loud, well-tuned symphony. Just listen to this. is the baby of the family, it is still a supercar. And driving a supercar is a special experience. Just seeing the car itself never gets old, and firing up that massive V10 and hearing it roar is so exciting, even other cars get agitated and set off their own car alarms. There's a saying that if you can park your car and walk away without looking back, you bought the wrong car. That is not true with the Gallardo. When you park it, you're just walking backwards, mesmerized with your car, just looking forward to the next time you can hop in the driver's seat and fire up your Lambo. The amount of smiles this car gives me is immeasurable, and the pleasure it gives me driving it is just untold, and my friends are worried for my well-being. <laughs> um, it's incredible. This is my childhood dream car, and driving this 
it's just an awesome experience. I think the most important thing with any vehicle is how it makes you feel. And driving this makes me feel like 10 year old me playing Need for Speed. Driving it is like a video game. It seems so unbelievable that it can't possibly be real. But the crazy part is, is I, at least I think it is real right now and that makes me feel even better. I finally met my hero and there's a lot of pressure behind that for it to exceed your expectations or meet it and it has in every single way. And I'm just both relieved and absolutely ecstatic that the Lamborghini Gallardo is everything and more than what I was expecting when it came out when I was 10 years old. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe if you could like us on Facebook.com and follow us on Instagram. That would be great. I look forward to seeing you next video.